New at noon, the stunning video of a police raid on the day little Ayanna Stanley Jones was killed. The pictures are chilling. The sound is heartbreaking. Not because of what you actually see and hear, but instead because watching this video, you know that little Ayanna Stanley Jones was sleeping when police stormed this home. When it was all over, the little girl was dead. Yeah, jury is finally watching a reality TV crew's video of that deadly raid. It is day two of testimony in the trial of Detroit officer Joseph Weekly. Our Alicia Smith has been monitoring the trial and she joins us now with the uh, very latest. Alicia, what does the video show exactly? Well, it shows footage shot by the TV crew with the Reality Police series, the first 48 of DPD's special response team raid on the home of Ayanna Jones. And this is the moment we want to show you at 12 43 a.m. on May 16th of 2010 when a flash grenade went off and the scene became chaotic. <laughs> Well, you heard some pops there. You saw that flash, and you hear dogs barking. There's a suspect pinned on the ground, and homicide officer Latanya Brooks is testifying that during the search warrant being executed, she did not know anyone had been shot. She says she was holding the man down on the sidewalk when police, she learned later, carried seven-year-old Ayanna Jones out of the house. When the gentleman was on the ground, said that they shot Ayanna. I told him, I said, nobody shot Ayanna. And then when the young lady came out, grabbed me by my arm. Um, I guess later somebody said she had been shot. I don't recall that. Well, the prosecution tried to show how chaotic the scene was, and the defense for a Officer Weekly questioned Officer Brooks about the unwanted distraction and pressure of having a TV crew with them. The chief never came down and asked you all, did he? What do you think about this? I'm going to put some cameras with you and stick them in the car and let them listen to everything you say and follow you around and ask you dumb questions. Did they, did they tell you that? No, he didn't. No, they just told you this is the way it is and you have to live with it, right? Yes. And that's additional pressure to doing a pressure-filled, difficult job. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. I call it Officer Weekly is charged with involuntary manslaughter and gross negligence uh, in discharge of his weapon. Testimony will continue after lunch. And Kim Craig, a reporter in the courtroom, tells us that Ayanna's grandmother, Martilla Jones, will likely take the stand tomorrow. She was on the couch with Ayanna when she was shot. Weekly's defense is that Martilla Jones hit his gun, causing him to accidentally pull the trigger. Yesterday, the prosecution told the jury that the trigger on Weekly's gun requires a lot of pressure. So it will be interesting to see what the testimony reveals. Alicia Smith, 7 Action News.